Now to your first alert weather and a new look at the lake effect snow that roared into Buffalo this weekend. Incredible time lapse video from the banks of Lake Erie as a band of snow reached the shoreline. Parts of Buffalo saw nearly two feet of snow. Get another check of our weather now. No two feet in our forecast, but you say nope. we may get a, we may get a little snow this week. Yeah, so we're talking more two inches of okay. snow Tuesday, and then another chance come Friday for okay. more snow added into the mix. But in the short term, we have to deal with the frigid air that is in place, and we're not alone. So maybe that helps things out. Let's bring the big picture to the big screen for you and show you the numbers across the country. Arctic air has taken over as far south as Texas. These are the actual temperatures right now. It is 13 in Dallas, 13 in Memphis, 9 below in Kansas City, 10 below in International Falls. The chill there feels like 27 below. Bismarck, it's 36 below. And in Kansas City, feels like negative 9. Buffalo, where we just showed you that video from, 3 below right now in the city it feels closer to 19. Now the Arctic air yeah, that rolled in today behind the Arctic front that sparked a few snow squalls and some serious wind gusts. Peak wind gusts measured today in Eaton's Neck, New York, 57 miles per hour at LaGuardia, a 51 mile per hour gust, and in Stamford, Connecticut, 42 miles per hour. The good news is the winds have come down, but it's still windy enough to create a wind chill out there. It will feel like teens and single digits tonight and tomorrow morning as well. This is the coldest stretch yet of the season for us. High temperatures will near freezing at best the entire stretch of the next seven. Tuesday, a yellow alert. That's because we're tracking light snow. We expect a slick morning commute, slick roadways through the day. One to four inches of total accumulation possible. Then Friday, we're watching that second chance. Let's look at the big picture. Starting things off Tuesday at 8 a.m. Here's our first storm system bringing light snow, maybe moderate snow at times to the region, maybe a little bit of rain to the east. Now by Wednesday, our Friday storm is coming ashore in the Pacific Northwest and will travel cross country gaining some steam. Friday 9 a.m. we're looking at snow across much of the tri-state area that likely continues through early Saturday, but the potential totals are looking kind of meager at this point in time for Friday system. Here is our projection for Tuesday's yellow alert. It's one to three across the island down the shore and really for most of the city, exception being the northern Bronx. They are two to four inches possible as is likely for everybody else. Now here is the week long projection from two of our models and again this would include Tuesday's system that's why I say Friday storm totals look rather meager but of course we're very early in the game this could change the euros putting out about six and a half inches for the week the GFS close to six inches but even with this one storm on Tuesday it's possible we will exceed last year's total of 2.3 inches as for those who are dealing with river flooding I just want to bring you some good news moderate flooding along the Passaic and river levels across the board appear to be falling at this point in time. Frigid tomorrow morning, wind chill, single digits and teens by afternoon for MLK Day. 33 degrees, feels like the 20s. It's partly sunny. Yellow alert on Tuesday for snow. Dry Wednesday, but cold. 29. Thursday, looking okay. 34. Friday, that second chance for more snow to roll through the region. Jessica, back to you. All right. Thank you, Vanessa.